Good morning, guys. It is so hot in Johannesburg. I thought I was running away from the heat in Durban. Turns out Joburg is just as hot. And I've just done my skincare routine, so like my face is just super oiled up. Anyways, it's Wednesday, Tuesday. Don't know what day of the week it is, but I'm off to help my little cousin shoot some content. You know, we're running, running a factory in the Mollisons. <laughs> Gonna go help him shoot some content and hang out with my with his older brother before he leaves for Germany. He lives there now. I'm running late because my mother has no regard for any thing that concerns me and my appointments so i just wanted to say hi quickly to check in hope you guys enjoyed the last vlog um it was so much fun being in durban uh, with dstv compact cup this weekend is the final so i'm going to be back to doing that back on the streets back on the pitch super super exciting um but for now let's just enjoy the week enjoy another weekly vlog with me your consistent queen ah. <laughs> I just came to my car to get my camera because I'm trying to be more consistent on YouTube. So if I have my camera, why the hell am I not vlogging? Don't know if you guys can even hear me or see me, but we're vlogging. I ate 10 pieces of sushi. I mean, 20. Because smokers, any chance they get. What up? Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning, and I've tried to wake up a bit early, get out of bed, brush my teeth, make myself breakfast because I have one of those super hectic days ahead. I have so much admin to do i have to bleach my hair i have to go shopping because i have a very long weekend of shooting for super sports for the dstv compact cup it is the finals on saturday so we are obviously going to do our build-up interviews with the fans find out who they will be supporting what they're looking forward to the most it's in johannesburg i'm so excited my team is in the final so i literally cannot wait um so i just want to bring you guys along on my admin day like i said i need to bleach my hair then go cut it then i have to go print a few documents that i have to submit for an appointment a very important appointment i have tomorrow can't wait to share the news on that and then go find some outfits for the finals i really hated what i wore to the semi-finals last week we weren't briefed i don't want to use it as an excuse um, because I had made a pact with myself that for 2022, I'm going to bring it. Like, it doesn't matter where I'm going, whether I'm going to the mall, a lunch, a dinner, a groove, I'm going to look my absolute best. And I did not look my best. And I was on live TV. So I don't want to disappoint myself like that again. So I'm going to go shop for something cute. Um, but for now, I'm doing my hair. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the products that I use on my hair. Because I know a lot of people still ask me like what do i do how do i achieve the blonde as you can see right now my hair has grown a bit my hair is thinning um around the hairline that's just because i don't have naturally strong hair but i've ordered a few products on beauty on tap that do help with hair growth so as soon as those arrive i'm going to start applying them but for now i'm going to bleach my hair I'm obviously going to show you guys how i achieve the platinum blonde um I wouldn't recommend doing it <laughs> at home. Be um, I've been doing it for the past three years, so I've got experience. I know how the products 
um, how my hair reacts to the products that I use um, but I will show you guys anyways maybe you have bleached with these products before and I know getting it done at the hair salon can be very tricky you guys know last year I went through the worst reaction um, where I got very very swollen um, but I do know that there is oh my alarm's going off But I do know there is a salon called La Jawi where I actually got my first, um, where I went blonde, platinum blonde for the first time was at La Jawi. I will leave their details in the description box. I think that's the best place you can go if you want to cut your hair and go platinum. I'm going to be a platinum boy. But anyways, let's get this day started and let's do my hair. It's been about 30 minutes as you can see like it's kind of bubbling and it's very dry around the hairline so it is time to wash my hair I'm going to rinse this off and then I'm going to apply this shampoo I don't know if you can see it it is a new light silver shampoo that basically takes out the yellow and the bronze tones to the hair just a warning guys when you are doing this make sure you're wearing an old t-shirt you're using an old towel because your clothes will get stained they'll be bleached they'll be ruined so please just be aware of that and then another tip is to wear gloves um i've been doing it for so long that i don't even bother wearing gloves anymore but i just wanted to warn you about your towels and whatever you'll be using because even the shampoo is like a very deep um purple um, as it says here on the thing, it neutralizes brassy tones, so it's ideal for highlighted hair, blonde, grey hair, and color-treated hair. Um, so I'm going to rinse this off and then apply this and leave it on for five minutes so that it just sits and removes those brassy tones. I'm in the car and I've managed to go cut my hair. So after bleaching, let me just turn this up. After bleaching, I um, came to Legends at Maponya Mall to cut my hair. That's part of my process. I don't trust anyone bleaching my hair after my um, allergic reaction incident. So I bleach it at home and then I come cut. And it just took so long to cut my hair. But I managed to get all my documents printed. This folder is so thick. Got my pictures. Let's actually see what my pictures look like. I don't think they're that cute because I don't look too cute today. Um, oh, why is this thing not coming out? I have to mission all the way to Clearwater more right now and it's just making me mad. Anyways, these are my, this is my photo. Doesn't look that great, but whatever. I guess it, it got the job done. I've got other pictures, so I'll just take those as well because I don't know. Like the quality just looks really bad, but I don't think that matters. I should have just taken them at home. But anyway, um, I've just had such a really bad like conversation with an ex-friend that has just set me like 10 steps back. I woke up to this message that I wasn't expecting, so it was very triggering. And me being me, I know I was going to be anxious all day or until I reply. So I've got a really busy weekend and I can't afford to be thinking about this person or this situation during tomorrow till like Sunday. So I was like, let me just reply and get it out the way. And now I completely regret indulging in this person and even replying because I'm a nervous wreck I'm shaking I'm anxious I have so much going on that I I just didn't need this like <sighs> from the mall um 
I just got back from the mall and arrived to a package from Beauty on Tap. This is my second time ordering from them and the first time I ordered was Black Friday. So the package, the delivery took a bit longer than usual. Um, I think it's so zoomed in. It took longer than usual during Black Friday, but this time it took a few days and inside it is this little card it says how to glow in 2022 become our bestie i feel like i am their bestie because they are just taking all my money adopt a good skincare routine got that on lockdown wear sunscreen and drink lots of water thank you for shopping with us and then it just gives you details on how to follow them on social media and um how to like get updates so what i've ordered is something that i ordered before so the first thing i ordered is something that i had already ordered before but it finished it's their pastry grapefruit swirl butter butter swirl pastry grapefruit butter swirl which helps with um evening your skin tone on your body it smells so good and like see how my skin is all glowy and moisturized that's how your skin looks after using this absolutely love it i finished it really quickly so i got another one i think they sell it in bigger containers i don't know why i didn't buy a bigger container because i literally go through this so quickly and then as i mentioned earlier my hair is thinning um because i just don't have great hair to begin with so i bought this castor oil hair growth oil by native child um which gives you all the benefits of castor oil um, for your hair and skin it softens your hair it reduces split ends moisturizes conditions um combats dry scalp hair sh all of it it does it does it all so this is what it looks like and i think in total including delivery it costed me about 650 for everything i'm not sure but i'll leave the exact dates and the links to everything that i bought so i'm just happy that that delivery arrived so quickly can't wait to use this on my hair i'm gonna do it in the evenings so that i don't have like residue of oil dripping onto my face giving me breakouts during the day but for now i'm going to put these in my bathroom and finish editing this week's vlog i'm yeah i'm tired i didn't even get everything done that i wanted to get done um i might have to go back to the mall to print forms urgent forms that i'm waiting for um but i got my outfits for the weekend got my hair cut um got my passport photos taken so i'm on top of things in terms of that and i'm just waiting for these last few documents after editing i'm gonna take a shower I'm gonna have dinner and sleep yeah let's work morning guys as you can see there's weird writing outside it says come in the <laughs> come in the magic awards um it's friday morning and i am at the multi choice studios at mnet i'm here to do a short little audition for a new show that super sport has um planned for the year for south africa to show that's already broadcasting and doing super super well in nigeria so they want to bring it over here and they obviously want to include some of the influencers that they've started working with this year me being one of them i'm very early because my driver had a bit of a panic thinking that we'd be getting stuck in traffic i don't blame him but there was no traffic at all so i'm waiting for someone to come fetch me from reception everyone thinks i'm crazy arriving at 7 a.m but yeah so we're gonna wait till i get collected at reception then do a covid test i have a bit of ptsd from the last covid test that i did on set for an ad i actually tested positive um <laughs> but i have no symptoms um i just woke up with a very um stuffy nose and it, like just very irritated nose and sinuses but i don't think that's anything to worry about so i'm gonna walk in get my covid test and then go to hair and makeup and then eat breakfast before we start shooting i'm a bit nervous because to be honest with you guys i don't really follow soccer um, obviously I know some key names here and there but when I'm not dating I really don't know anything about even when I'm dating I actually have decided that I'm not even going to support my person's team at the time because when we break up I forget about the team so that's a bit counterproductive 
but anyways I'm sure it's gonna be a very very fun session and then after this shoot I will be heading to Southgate to finish my last activation for the DSTV Compact Cup um, because it's game day tomorrow tomorrow is the finals it's Warriors versus Coastal United um, so yeah very very busy day very very busy week um, so let's just get this day started Emmett. I got my head out this sunroof I'm blasting my favorite tunes I only got one thing on my mind You got me stuck on the thought of you You're making me feel brand new You're more than a sunshine in my eyes You got those pretty eyes in your head You know it You got me dancing in my bed So let me show it You are exactly what I want Kinda cool and kinda not Wanna give myself And that's it's super true with this amazing team. My eyes are so red. You're gonna appear on my YouTube channel looking crazy. <laughs> Molly doesn't want to be you can put your arm down she doesn't want to be featured but it is the end of my work day I actually finished work early today but I still had to stick around because there's a bit of confusion the sun is. but because I have my makeup done and I owe other brands content I've decided to spoil the love of my life to a cute little lunch she doesn't want to appear, I don't know why. Oh, busy daddy in town. It's a very hot day in Johannesburg. But it looks like it's going to rain actually. But we are going to Mr. George for lunch. My mom is a very picky eater, so I'm just praying to God that the food is decent. But they have a very wide variety of food, a wide selection. So I'm sure she will find something great. And I know they've got a bomb whiskey sour that I'm craving that I'll be using for this content um, but yeah it's Friday tomorrow is game day so I will be vlogging from there I got mom I got stopped today from vlogging at the SAB at the multi-choice studios yeah. they gave me a pink slip it's against the rules the minute they see a professional camera they panic I don't know what they thought I was documenting so I had to vlog on my phone I don't know if the footage is any good but I had a really fun time on SuperTube with some super sport experts and I was just the pretty face on the show. Um, but obviously hoping for more features on the show. It was a lot of fun, but now I'm starving and can't wait to sit down and eat. So we will see you guys at Mr. George. Mix it all good with the plantains and the pho. You already know it. <laughs> It literally started pouring and I'm wearing like a summer dress thinking that it's the hottest day of the weekend but it's not but keen to get a bevy it's been a long week and a nice wholesome meal and just enjoy my day with my mom we mix the okra with the plantains and the pho you already know it is. <laughs> Andre back there 
literally practicing all of his words, being the perfectionist that he is. Um, the players are warming up. Like everything is very, very intense compared to the semi-finals last weekend in Durban. So I am a little bit anxious. I'm wearing this blue dress that is kind of already embarrassing me. Guys, I swear I gained weight overnight. Like I tried on this dress the other day and it was perfect. And now today, like my boobs are popping out, my cook is popping out, like it's a bit hectic. But I'm super excited to be here. I'm gonna show you guys the action that's happening downstairs. The players are warming up. The girls are getting ready um, to go live, making TV. It's a very, very exciting day. And I'm gonna bring you guys along. Like I'm only going on at two o'clock so I can film the quarterfinals. And then when it's finals, I gotta be focused. I gotta do my job. So yeah, welcome to game day. I got my head out the sunroof. I'm blasting our favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. You got me. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? It is Sunday. It is the Sunday after a very, very long, a very long, a very stressful yet successful week. I'm finally done with my DSTV. I can't even speak anymore. I can't speak. I think I've reached my cap. <laughs> it's um, the end of the dstv compact cup it's sunday it's raining and gloomy and cold in johannesburg which is very annoying because i was keen to get out and razzle and actually go socialize with my friends now that i'm done with work um i should be sleeping because i am exhausted but just decided that i should finish off the week strong so i'm off to the major league balcony mix experience with one of my best friends zimi and then after that, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to see whatever the wind blows, honey. I actually need to call my Uber now. Because um, I know these Ubers tend to take a while. Um, we are off to the Major League Balcony Mix. Bandila sent us an invite. And I thought, actually, you know what? This is going to be a perfect um, thing to do on a s sunny Sunday afternoon. But it turned out to be raining, which is horrible because it's a rooftop um venue but i'm dressed warm and i'm keen to go razzle and just have a nice catch-up session with zimmy then maybe later we might end up at gonka i'm taking my camera in case i feel like vlogging um yesterday i didn't take my camera but i did shoot some footage on my phone of the final which was very very exciting i spent a lot of my time um in the suite which is a bit boring because i thought i'd be pitch side doing like lots of interviews and stuff but we took a completely different direction which is okay um there was four of us um working yesterday so i guess everyone needs to get a chance to work and experience everything so that was cool with me um like i said the tournament is over but um my um <laughs> My new um, role at Supersport has not ended. There's so much more to come. Something very exciting happening next month. Um, and another thing happening in March. So lots and lots and lots to look forward to. But anyways, I'm going to wait for my Uber now, pack my bag and head to Santon. I will see you guys at the balcony mix. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday, feels like Monday because I actually slept my Monday away. I went out on um, Sunday and you guys will have seen that I didn't vlog because it just turned out to be a very like weird day like the day kind of bombed but at the same time it turned out to be like really nice. Zimi and I went to the major league balcony sessions and 
it wasn't really what we were expecting um, we stayed for a few hours and then we headed to um, Gonka for their Gonka Sundays which was dope and then I just ended up getting launched to the club I went to go check out this new club called Nostra that's owned by the New North and it was such a vibe um, I feel like all party places were kind of dead on Sunday which was very weird um, but you end up having fun anyways you end up making the most of your time there because you're there anyways so i ended up um at nostra my friend was hosting um ricky was hosting so we ended up just chilling together i haven't seen or haven't hung out with him in a very long time i saw him in cape town but i haven't actually had a ricky rick night out in a very very long time so that was dope to do for um for my sunday so yeah i didn't vlog any of that because i was actually just enjoying my time with my friends um so today i am going to the spa i got a spa voucher for my birthday um last year which i haven't used so i'm going to use that today um and spend the whole day at the spa i'm leaving right now because i'm gonna have breakfast first before my treatments my treatment is like a four hour treatment it's like a facial a full body massage and a pedi so i'm having a very very nice um me day like i feel like after the week i've had last week with super sport i need to just you know treat my body and myself to some relaxation so i'm looking forward to that um, I just want to show you guys my Kawaii Smart Meals. They have arrived. So I just want to um, show you what they look like and just tell you a little bit more about what I selected. So let's go down. Okay, so these are the Smart Meals that I've received. They arrive frozen in this kind of packaging which allows them to last long. I ordered for three, three meals a day for a week. And they've sent me, so this for example is a beef fillet burrito bowl, which could be for lunch or dinner. And then there's also breakfast. This is a chicken sausage with mushroom and beans. So that would be a breakfast. And then they also sent like some soups and stuff that I can eat for dinner. I'm not a big soup person. This is Thai green curry soup with chicken so they used um vsp packaging technology which allows the food to stay fresh if it's frozen and then in my meal plan as well there are smoothies that i can enjoy throughout the day as well as snacks so here's like a variety of mixed nuts that you would get at your normal kawaii store as well as um some rivers so i'm going to start eating from dinner because i'm obviously going to be out the whole day today but i'll keep one meal out so that i have a healthy dinner to have and then from tomorrow i can eat um three meals a day so this really helps you save time you don't have to meal prep um and they basically give you the food that's perfect if you're trying to lose weight or if you're preparing for like a marathon or if you're trying to go plant-based and you don't know what to eat so they basically put that together for you um, it comes with like this piece of paper which just tells you more about the smart meals and then it tells you more about what your meal plan is so I've chosen the carb calorie conscious which shows me what I'm supposed to eat every day Monday to Sunday and according to my eating plan my average micronutrient intake per day what it would be so I'm excited to get started into that and maybe start going to the gym if I find time. I know my mom's going to think I'm lying. But I'm going to definitely get into that. So for now, I'm going to go to the spa. And I'll see you guys there. So I just got to Fair Lawns. And I'm just going to sit quickly for a bite to eat. The very ridiculous thing that I've been told is that I'm not allowed to use a professional camera. I'm using my vlogging camera, which is the same quality basically as my phone. So that's a bit frustrating, but I will be vlogging for my phone. It is time to